From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Couple of days away from the TU home opener, 14 days from the official start of fall here, the autumnal equinox, uh, uh, the equinox, pardon me. Tulsa State Fair is 21, Halloween is 53, Thanksgiving 77. A high today nearing 90, sunshine, a few clouds in the winds north this morning, south winds later today at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, fog issues, again, this is going to be mostly across Arkansas, but if you're around the Silo Springs area, uh, Watts or Westville or maybe the Grand Lake vicinity, you may have just a little bit of patchy fog this morning. West Coast, uh, they have been hammered, obviously, with just significant heat over the last six, seven to eight days with lots of fires on the West Coast. Hurricane K is the Pacific storm. It's a category one hurricane moving north at 14 miles an hour. Now this is mostly gonna be across the Southern Baja region. It doesn't have a major impact in terms of like turning into the system, but it has moved a little bit more to the east and that will bring some rain across portions of Southern California. Uh, so here's Palm Springs and San Diego and Oceanside in LA. So it looks like at least in the Southern part of California, they'll pick up some rain out of this and that'll help out a little bit there with those drought stricken areas and uh, really hot weather that they're underway now in that region. How about our uh, area here? Still slightly above normal for the next day or two with relatively light wind. We're tracking that next front Saturday night, early Sunday, slightly cooler, drier air, but heads up again. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week, it's going to warm right back up. We're going to go right back into the 90s. So this front moves into the area Saturday night. So northwestern Oklahoma Saturday evening will have a chance for a couple of showers and storms and that will progress into south central Kansas. Pardon me. By the time the boundary enters our area early Sunday morning, the system kind of gets out of phase. So the moisture content is not going to be very high. The drier air is moving in. It basically kind of shuts down the precipitation. So this is only a slight chance for a shower or two early Sunday. A little better chance right across I-35 and the South Central Kansas. So on the timeline, unfortunately, it still looks pretty low here. Late, late Saturday night into the early Sunday morning time period. And when we take a look at next week, we don't have any significant opportunities. Uh, so 93 on Saturday, and then the temperature drops. Sunday's high near 80. Uh, Monday's high at 84. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to climb right back up. Highs this afternoon, lower 90s, Tulsa to the west, 87 in Pryor, 89 in the Muskogee area, 88 in Stigler, 92 in Coffeyville, Kansas. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start once again into the 60s. And then highs tomorrow will also be back into the upper 80s and the lower 90s. So right now we have clear sky and calm wind and a relatively cool weather where it's 65, 65 here in the Tulsa Metro, 68 in Broken Arrow, far northern sections here, one or two spots into the upper 50s at Bartlesville. It's a pleasant morning, so get out and enjoy the day. It's going to be steady through the end of the week. Saturday is still pretty warm. And then that front Saturday night brings not as uh, hot, cooler weather Sunday and Monday.